Hey guys, today I'm filming my next hit it or quit it thoughts on hauls. If you've never seen one of these videos from me before, I will have my playlist linked down below. And basically I'm going to be reviewing all the products that I featured in a haul video from a year ago to let you know my current thoughts on those products. And let's just get on into this. I actually have a ton of stuff here and I have tried everything I believe which is great that is not always the case starting with Ulta for my birthday gift it was a little mini of the Estee Lauder advanced night repair serum that is in my travel bag that's a fine product not something that I would repurchase though and then some makeup products I got all of these on sale if you want the details about that you can check out my original video but I had picked up one of the Bare Minerals Blonzers in Kiss of Copper. I absolutely love this. I know that this is made for more of a tan skin tone, but I absolutely love it on me because I do have warm undertones and I just go in with a light hand. This is a beautiful blush. It has a really nice satin finish to it. I love the sun kissed look it gives to the skin. This could be beautiful in the summer or the fall. Absolutely love this. And I am interested in trying out their new shades. And then I did get two of the buxom glosses that were from the fall collection last year. First being the lip polish in Cami Caramel, and then I got the lip cream in Spiced Hot Toddy. And I love the formula of these. So the lip polishes, I usually don't pick up because I find them to be too sheer to need a whole bunch of shades. But this one does have some really good opacity and I absolutely love this beautiful warm nude. And then the Spiced Hot Toddy, this is a little bit sheer so it doesn't show up this opaque on the lips. This is a very pretty color, not something that I would say I have to have but I don't regret buying it. These are my favorite glosses. You guys know I can't resist their limited edition collections and I'm definitely wanting to get in the store so I can see the new fall collection glosses. I got in the NYX Pore Filler Stick that people have been raving about on TikTok. It didn't do anything for me. It was so, so subtle, so I passed that on. Then I had gotten two of the ColourPop Glowing Lips, one of them in La Cienega, which I just put in my last clutter. I'm giving to a friend, but I did keep this color Indulging, which is a peachy nude. This is a really nice, simple lipstick. It gives a medium opacity it has a subtle sheen to it doesn't feel heavy on the lips it's a nice comfortable formula i really loved it at first haven't reached for it much recently but this is something i would likely use in fall so something that i like but i don't love so i won't get any more shades then from sephora i had a wonderful birthday gift i picked the laura mercier set which had a somewhere between like travel size and deluxe sample size it was pretty generous though of the translucent loose setting powder i used to love that i don't love it as much anymore because i feel like it makes my makeup look cakey and it darkens my makeup but if i get any minis i will use them up and then it came with an exclusive mini caviar stick you guys know I love my shadow sticks and this is the shade strapless which is a really pretty taupey color and I I really love the shade of this I'm so happy to have it this is my favorite shadow stick formula super easy to apply it doesn't crease it's long lasting so also really needs to step up their birthday gifts to be more like Sephora also from Sephora I had gotten this Natasha Denona I need a rose lip gloss in peony I absolutely love this I also have the color Daphne from this collection this is an awesome gloss it also has a light medium to medium opacity. I love this type of applicator because it picks up extra product. This is a super smooth, creamy formula. It is not sticky, it's not oily, it's not too thick. I absolutely love this and I know they are quite pricey, but I'm really happy with the ones that I have. And then I had a little deluxe sample of the Clarins Total Eye Lift Eye Cream. I do think this is a really nice product. It is nice and hydrating, but it doesn't feel too heavy, doesn't give me any milia, and I like the consistency of it, but I still like my Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm better, so I would not purchase this one. 
because it's super expensive. Then I had gotten some products during the lipstick day sale, which is actually happening the day that I'm filming this, which is funny. So these four cream lip stains were on sale half off. I had gotten the shade Cinder Rose. It was way more purple than I thought it was, so I did declutter that. But this is an amazing liquid lipstick formula that I would highly recommend. It does dry down. It is more comfortable than other liquid lips, and they come in so many shades, and the Sephora products are really affordably priced. So of course that's something that I regret buying. I also regret buying these. I got the Kelly Ray Glazed and Infused Plumping Glassy Lip Trip and I already had one of these previously in Taco Tuesday. Very beautiful shade. And I really wanted Likely Story which is this peach color and I wanted to be able to spend enough to get a freebie with coupon code. So I picked up Orchid Ranch. These are fine glosses. They're Again, like a light medium opacity. They have like a watermelon candy type of scent to them, which I really don't like. It's not super strong. It's not as strong as the Lawless watermelon scent, but it's not my favorite. These are a little bit sticky. I don't love squeeze tube glosses, although I like that they're small and the applicator is small because I don't feel like it's too messy, but I really wish I would have gone back in time and not made this purchase. And I was thinking about getting some of the Freck and Say Beauty blurring lipsticks today, but I talked myself out of it because I felt like none of those shades were like perfect for me. So I'm really proud I did not make the same lipstick day sale mistake as I did last year. Another purchase regret, at some point the Pat McGrath Divine Blush Duos were on sale. So for I think 30% off, I got two colors and I feel like I acted fast because I was afraid of them selling out. I got this color Aphrodite Amore. I like this brighter shade here and you know this is cute. This is the one that I really regret but I do like the other shade I got which is Cosmic Coral. Again a really pretty coral color and then more of like a terracotta brown shade mixed together really beautifully give you that nice sunburnt look. So I really didn't need either of these. But if I could go back in time, I would not have purchased Aphrodite Amore. These are nice blushes. Not overly pigmented though, but I don't feel like I have to sit there and layer them up. They're fine, just not worth the money. And then I had used 100 points to get this little mini Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. And I actually have fallen in love with this. So way back in the day, I purchased the full size and fussy and really I just didn't love that pink. So. I just thought I didn't really like these glosses. They are nice though. They're not too sticky. It's like a strawberry, I think, strawberry candy scent, which is not my favorite. It's not super intense. I would love to try to pan this. And then this is something I actually do see myself getting in the full size with Ulta points in the future now that Fenty is at Ulta. But this is just a really beautiful, easy lip color. I love a warm nude and it is nice and shimmery, very glossy, really enjoy that. And then with some coupon codes, I had gotten the Super Goop Glow Screen Body. It's definitely a different formula than the one for the face. I tried putting this on my face and it was a mistake. It just, I don't love the consistency of this. And this also has a lot more glitter. So it's not something that I would repurchase, but I will definitely use them up. And then my friend Jean had signed up for the credit card. And when you do that, that's before you get a coupon for 25% off. So I got some things through her. I got another one of the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums in Rose Glow. This is a beautiful pink shade. I always really want to wear pink, but I feel like the undertones are never quite right. But this is awesome. You guys know I love this formula. I have six of these and I know that they are a little bit melty and messy, but compared to a lot of the other similar products I've tried, I like this better. The tart ones I felt were a little too sticky. These are just more creamy. Not the most long lasting, but I love the way that they look and feel on the lips. Then I have the Anastasia Nouveau palette. I love that there are so many different olive tones in here. And I think it's really pretty. With all of my looks, I basically used these mattes for a transition increase because it's all we have to work with besides this. And there is a matte olive in here that I use in the lower lash line. I'm really impressed with this Anastasia eyeshadow quality. And I love the shades in here, although they could have done with a little bit more variety. I did really enjoy all of the looks that I created with this palette last year. If I remember, I will have those Instagram makeup of the days down below. But I do think this is a good one, especially if you can get it on sale. I don't think this is necessarily a must have at that full price.
from Sigma. I got the new Mod Palette. I think this is beautiful. I love Sigma's quality. They have some really nice shimmer shadows. I wish they would dabble with more foil shadows, but they do have some really great metallics. Their mattes are nice. I love all of the different shades in here. Super beautiful. They do have more of like a duochrome color, which is very fun for Sigma. I definitely would recommend picking this up. It is going to be a go-to for me in the winter time. And again, I just love Sigma's quality. Then my friend Gina and I had placed a QVC order together for this Lawless Lip Gloss Trio. She kept two shades and I got the one that was exclusive to QVC and it still is just at QVC and their website. It is the color Cali Sunset. This is so beautiful. I absolutely love this color. I recently featured it in a bronze lip picks on my Instagram, which I will link so you guys can see how it looks on me. I really do like the Lawless Gloss formula. It is a little bit thick and stickier than my usual preference, like the Tower 28, but not uncomfortable. Comes in a lot of shades, and I do like the very subtle plumping effect that it gives, and I'm always excited about their different collections. So this is a great shade that I would recommend picking up. And QVC does do like free shipping deals sometimes. So keep an eye out for that. Then when I visited my friend Jean for my birthday, we went to a CCO and it was an amazing one. I had gotten for a really great price, I think under $10, the Too Faced Born This Way Powder Foundation in Snow. I did not need this. I'm really not into powder foundation anymore. This is something that I think I want to pan next year. So I don't super regret this, but I definitely could have done without this in my collection. If I would have paid more for it, I probably would have regretted it more. But what made the trip for me besides visiting Jean was that they had four of the five shade shifter duochrome eyeshadows from a MAC holiday collection. And I had to snatch them up. They were a really great price. I think like around 40% off. So the green shade is called Ho Ho Hocus. The more neutral one is right before your eyes. The pinky purple is Calling Your Bluff. And the blue is Perplexing. And the other color that I'm missing is uh, another purple type of shade. So I'm really happy with the ones that I got. I would love to have the fifth for the collector's sake, but I really love the looks I created with these. This is a fantastic formula. I've really not been interested in MAC in a while. I would love for them to come out with more shades in this formula. It is really, really good. So if you happen to see this at a CCO still, I'd recommend getting one. Then I got a package from the Sweet Angel Karen Harris. And she had just gone on a Sigma brand trip, which is so fun. And they sent her home with a lot of goodies and they were duplicates for her so she kindly sent them to me so I got to try the soft focus setting powder in vanilla bean which is our lightest shade I did use that up in a project pan earlier this year it is not my most favorite it is a little bit too dark for me and I find that I get a little bit oily earlier in the day than I would with another powder. It has a little bit of a glow to it. I think this would be really great for people that have dry normal skin, maybe even combo, but if you're really oily like me or if you're very fair like me, it's not going to be the best fit, but I still really enjoyed using it and was excited to try it. And then she sent me two shades of the blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. So here are the bronzers in light and medium. Pretty similar, but I think you can see the difference here. They are a matte formula. Sigma came out with four bronzers, six blushes, and six highlighters. And the other four blushes I already have, three of them I have in the Corday Rosa palette. One I had in a limited edition holiday cheek duo. So there were just two shades that I did not have. Tiger Lily is the shimmer blush, which is in their like first blush palette that I don't have. And then I think this one is brand new. This is Sunset Kiss. It's a matte finish. These are amazingly pigmented, blend out nicely, and I love these shades. So the bronzers and blushes I find to have a pretty similar formula. They are very pigmented, they blend out nicely. And then we have the highlighters, and I had to get used to this formula, and it's something that I just sort of found a great way to work with this month. So the highlight shades I have would be Moonbeam and Savannah. So I have been using Savannah this month, and it is almost like a gelée formula. I find it to be a little bit firm in the pan. I had a hard time picking it up on a brush, but I have been using it with this Morphe and Makeup by Ariel 
A14 and the density and shape of this picks up the product perfectly, places it on the cheeks perfectly, and I really have fallen in love with this highlighter. It's so interesting because I do feel like the way it's pressed in the pan or the formula is different in the highlighter singles than it is in the duos or even their larger highlighter palette. In those other formats, it's a little bit more powdery, easier to pick up on a brush. So I was disappointed with these at first, but now that I have found this brush, I am so excited to use them more and really to test out that lighter shade Moonbeam again because Savannah has been a favorite this month. Then in PR from Merit, I had gotten their Brow Palmy, which is just a tinted brow gel in blonde. It is fine, but not my most favorite. I feel like it almost has a little bit too much pigment for me, and I would rather use the Benefit Gimme Brow, which has a little bit of fibers in it. And then they also had sent their Bronze Balm, which was new at the time, and I have the color Clay. This is a sheer bronzer stick, so I would say go a color deeper than you would think. So this is the second shade in the range, and I love it. It is so perfect for me. It has a bit of a dewy finish, but looks just so natural and beautiful on the skin. I also really love the shape of this. I feel like it fits in your cheeks nicely. I really, really like this product. It might be my favorite thing from Merit. And I got in a package from Laura Geller. They sent the Baked Double Take Powder Foundation in Porcelain. I did pass that on. It was a really good product, but again, I'm just not into powder foundation anymore. But I had gotten to try one of these new products at the time. I haven't seen it online anymore, so I'll have to check again. This was amazing. This is their Serum Blush Cheek Tint. They had a pink color and then this one, Poppy Peach. This is so good. It looks beautiful on the cheeks, a nice natural dewy finish. It's super easy to apply, blend out with a sponge. I hope that these will come back in stock or come back. I would love to try the other shade. This is such a good product from Laura Geller. So highly recommend you pick this up if you guys can find it online. So we have a bit of a mixed bag here. Some things that I regret buying, but a lot of these I really enjoy or absolutely love. So I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've tried these products in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.